this demonstration we're going to look at configuring iSCSI storage for the mailbox server role. This is quite important, it's good to have shared storage just in the case of we have any redundancy issues so that we have a central location where we can store our data. And if we're setting up clustering, generally speaking, we're probably going to be using shared disks. Right, for this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Windows Server 2012 software. So I'm going to come into Server Manager here. Once Server Manager launches up, what I want to do here is I actually want to add the uh, file and storage services, and I want to add the iSCSI services to my Windows 2012 server. Right, so what we'll do here is we'll add roles and features. Select our next button. On the installation type here, we want to go for our role-based and uh, feature based install so we'll select next we are adding it to lon dc1 so we'll select next and then what we'll do here is we'll now just add the iSCSI role all right so down here we'll just go for our file and storage services installed here we'll go for our file and iSCSI services installed here and what we'll do is we'll just scroll this down a little bit here and what we're looking for is we're looking for the iSCSI roles and what we'll do here is we'll make this an iSCSI target server. Now we've done that, we'll select next. We're fairly happy with the features, so we'll select next. And then what we'll do is we'll select install. Now this is going to go away and install the iSCSI target server, so once it watch this, we'll return back once the installation is complete. All right, installation is now complete, so we'll just close this down. And now what we'll do here is we'll now just actually configure iSCSI. Right, so into our file and storage services here, then what we'll do is we'll go for iSCSI. Right, so we'll just come to tasks, and what we'll do under tasks here, what we want to do is create a new iSCSI virtual disk. Right, this brings us into a little wizard, so we'll just maximize the wizard. So we'll highlight our C drive, we'll then select next for the location. We'll call the disk iSCSI disk 1 and select next. We'll make the disk 2 gig and select next. We'll go with a new iSCSI target and select next. We'll specify lon-mbx1 as the target name and access and select next. On the specify our access servers, we'll just select add. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to add in lon-mbx1. So we'll just select OK. We'll then select Next. And just in the case of the Enable Authentication Services, I'm not going to bother with the chap, so we'll select Next. And then on our confirmation page here, next thing to do here is just select Create. All right, so this is going to go away and create these uh, targets and create all the information. So that's all done now. So next thing to do is just select Close. And we'll also create a second disk as well, so we'll go back to tasks again. And then what we'll do here is we'll create another new iSCSI virtual disk. Go with our C drive again and select next. We'll call this one iSCSI disk 2 and select next. What we'll do here is we'll make this one 500 gigabytes and select next. No, oh, actually we'll make this 500 meg because I don't have 500 gig and select next. We're actually going to connect our existing iSCSI targets, so lon mbx1, select next, and then select create. And again, it'll run through a little wizard just to create this disk. Now that we've done this, the next thing we need to do is just assign these iSCSI targets to our initiator. And in the case of our initiator, our initiator will be lon mbx1. So I just need to move over to the console of lon mbx1. Alright, so on lon-mbx1, what I've done here is I've come into Server Manager. The next thing I'm going to do here is actually connect this initiator through to the target. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just come into the tools and launch my iSCSI initiator. So up to tools and into iSCSI initiator. We'll just say yes to start the service. And within the initiator dialog here, we'll go for the discovery page. We select discover portal, and what we need to do here is just type in the IP address, which is 172.16.0.10, and then what we'll do is we'll just click OK. Click on our targets button. Click our refresh button. 
And what we can see now is that we've got IQN and we've got the actual target in place here. Now we've done that, next thing to do is just select connect and select OK. And as we can see, we've now connected through to our SCSI target. So that's the end of this demonstration of connecting my LON MBX1 server through to my LON DC1 server, which is my iSCSI target. Thanks very much.